On today's show, a laser fly swatter that's going to help you kill bugs in the air. Pew pew! A video showing off the future of AR, but it might be too good to be true. And a really cool online simulator is going to show you where to hide during the zombie apocalypse. Hint, it is not in Kale's basement. It's Los Angeles. There's no basements here. That's right. So our daily. Citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Skella. Join me as always, Kill Anonymous, the man, the myth, the legend. How's it going? It's great. All right. Happy Monday. Yeah, happy Monday. It feels it feels we, good. We have some new color. We have some some nice new color in the set. I, oh, we're, oh, we're gonna point it out. Yeah, it's, it's a nice. I, I really I really like this color. It's, it really it's brings good. it brings out your eyes. It, yeah, it feels like we're not on the like the front of a Hallmark card. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, oh, look, you're so go. Oh. It's so good. Yeah, I, I it's like very it so good. much. We, we owe this to producer Logan. We do. For, for Thank his you. wonderful taste mwah, in set, set lighting. So Perfect. Good on him. All right, with that being said, it is Monday, which means we have a lot to get through. So let's hit the headlines. So I'm about to tell you about a laser fly swatter. This product has actually been in the works for a while, like years now, but the de original designer kind of walked away from it. But now, a company, Intellectual Ventures, which is a big patent company, has announced that they are licensing this thing for manufacturing. It's a laser bug killer. Okay. Okay. So Laser, Lasers, the future of killing bugs. <laughs> it's just obviously the future of killing bugs. Okay. So we're going to watch some B-roll here, and I feel really bad for the mosquitoes in this B-roll because they're getting shot down like the Red Baron. Oh, <laughs> like, no. It's just they're just getting taken out of the sky. Um, okay, so... The thing about mosquitoes is, is that, you know, they're really, they're extra bad in places like Africa where there's malaria. There's, there can be malaria where there's a lot of still water. And so, um, and there's also things like sand flies in the Middle East, which are also extremely bad. So, oh boy, that's a smoke trail coming out of that mosquito. Um, so here's how it works. Uh, the goal of the device is to make this sort of fence around an area. I love this like crazy slow motion video. It's so graphic. Oh, it just blasts their just like, wings oh! off. Yeah, okay. just, I mean, it blows their wings so off. So it creates a grid. It kind of makes a fence around an area and then the laser beam used to zap the bugs is only a few millimeters wide. So I think it's between like two and six millimeters wide, but it has a lot of range. The ideal distance for the laser to hit a bug is 25 to 100 meters meters so 75 to 300 feet away so it's far uh and basically it uses two different beams it uses an infrared beam to actually track the bugs and then a laser beam a three watt laser to take it out of the sky this really does sound like zombie apocalypse protection type stuff. okay so even even crazier they're trying to figure out a way to pinpoint because of the rate at which mosquitoes wings flap they're differently for male and female mosquitoes they're trying to figure out how to make it so that the infrared beam could track whether or not the mosquito was male or female and then shoot down only the female ones to save battery but yeah so that's what they're doing that the is <laughs> that's the mosquito laser uh i saw that and i just i shouldn't laugh i should not laugh at that video of them just like Bl just blatantly shooting mosquitoes out of the sky, but it's it's kind of entertaining. I don't know. Like it's, kind I, of funny. I, it's weird because if it, I, there's a lot of people that will probably be like, they, oh, there was a mosquito. But watching that slow, <laughs> painful mosquito look what you did, death, look what you're doing, where they're mosquitoes. just floating gracefully, and it's like, oh no, and you just you're just like, it, it, yeah, look at this. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> if you put some sad music to it, oh, sad Hulk music. Yeah, put some sad music to <laughs> it, like, and. No. And it's Why? a complete. It's not as an. It's not a great story. It's like our saddest story. It's of the like show. the robots where they show the people kicking them and everything, and they make it seem oh, like they're no. abusing the robots. It's the same type of thing. Okay. All right. Tell me about Magic Leap. All right. So for this story, you're gonna need to see the video. So let's. I mean, let's just roll right into the video, video because is crazy. this is a really unbelievable video. And unbelievable is the word that I that Key, I'm gonna stick with. Key phrase here. So <laughs> this is a uh, Magic Leap. Okay. This is this is a. Uh, Weta showing off Magic Leap. This video is called Just Another Day in the Office. It's kind of showing us what can be done with AR. The, at the highest level that, the, that Weta's imagination the perfect world. can go. So uh, Weta Workshop helped make this Magic Leap uh, uh, produce this video. Uh, you might know some of their other work is like Lord of the Rings and, and stuff like that. So there are no strangers to graphics. Like, yeah, post-production, like uh, visual effects. I love the uh, I love the inclusion of the Dr. Grodbort's 
uh, ray guns. Right. Because I have some at home. You just wanted to plug that. Anyway, so. I love them. So they're showing off what an AR interface can do. But presumably, uh, we don't really know which, which way this video is going, whether right. they're like, we are doing this or it can do this. There's been no response from anyone about this as of this filming. Yeah. But obviously it's showing off how you can play a game and interact with your surroundings, uh, how your hands can interact, uh, how you can interact with that gourd bort gun. Yeah, like that's the first, like you pick up a real life object and then use it in your AR game. It looks like a corridor digital video. Yeah. It feels like we've seen stuff like this before. It does. And it just seems like Weta toying around. And that's playing with our hearts. That's I had I had a very guttural reaction to it too. Yeah, like, I got I mean, so excited. We, you got excited. I did not get excited. Because you were I so got mad. aggravated. I'm tired of seeing what AR can do, because we've seen you that a million times. I want to see it do that okay, okay? so this is a cool I, I video a good, good job weta it looks awesome freddie wong's already do, uh, already done it let's see what ar can do but again we don't know if this is something they've actually done right or they, or if they've actually worked with um so uh, magic leap so magic leap interestingly has a lot of money right now they have over half a billion dollars mm -hmm. they, they have uh, oh i think it's like 530 some million dollars in venture capital from places like google venture so yeah yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a lot of investors. Definitely, they yep. have a lot of investors, and they were supposed to give a talk, I think, at um, maybe GDC or another conference, and then they canceled, but then they released this video. They said, this is what we were supposed to show you, but then, so I don't, I think that- It's just like HoloLens. It might be planned. It might be a little planned. Yeah, just like HoloLens, like, right. you know, the, all these promises the get, us, get us excited, and I'm sure, like, they, they buffed that video up since the HoloLens video I'm came sure. out. But regardless, you're right, they have a lot of money, AR still hasn't really shown us that. Yeah, well, I mean, Hololens actually showed us some stuff. Right. So I guess we'll see. But either we'll way, see. we'd love to know your thoughts on this. Yeah, right? that's, that's our hashtag of the day. What I want to know Are is. Are you super happy like her or unnecessarily annoyed by it? <laughs> unnecessarily. I irrationally know, I'm hopeful. irritated. I'm excited about it. I love AR. I love VR. But. Just, huh, to well, make it real. Don't make it look like a like a Freddie Wong video. Okay, so here's the hashtag of the day. Okay, what is it? It is TDVRVAR. So virtual yep. reality versus <laughs> augmented good reality. Timing, producer Logan. Yeah, very good. Um, virtual reality versus augmented reality. Which one are you more excited about at this point? So let's, okay. obviously TD, this is a concept. Virtual video. reality. Yeah, versus augmented v reality. Augmented yeah. reality. Okay. Yeah. So AR, VR, and why? And what's What's the, for you guys, what's the tipping point? Like, what's the must buy piece of software for you that like, you're like, okay, I gotta get a VR or an AR headset at this point. This is the thing that this headset would do. I choose AR or VR, and here's the thing that is gonna make me buy it. Okay, I'm very interested to see what you pick. Uh, we usually don't set these up. Cause no, we like no. to hear each other's reactions. I write this and then question. Say, Yours is wrong. I write um, this question <laughs> literally five hours before the show, and I don't think of an answer until we sit right me here. Me neither. Yeah. Uh, so you go first. Okay, so for me, I think I am, as a gamer, uh -huh. I have to be more excited about virtual reality. You're more excited about virtual I, reality? I am more excited about virtual reality because I love the idea of being immersed. And I, if I'm wearing a headset, I want to escape. That's I want to be in a whole different world. I don't want to see extra stuff onto the things I see in my everyday life. Like I want to see something totally new and beautiful and amazing and incredible. And so for me, I would say, uh, the game that I would buy would, uh, I don't want to say it would have, like I loved Bioshock Infinite so much and I feel like that world would have been so grand in virtual reality. Oh man, yeah, absolutely. So I feel like if I could play an, like a 4K remaster of Bioshock Infinite, I think that would be the game that would be like, oh, I have to buy any this. Any Bioshock game. Any Bioshock game. Any yeah. Bioshock, any, any Bioshock. atmospheric game would be fantastic in be VR. so good. Right. I mean, that's that's what we're all dreaming of for course. VR. Yeah, and we're course. getting really close we're getting already. There. We're, we're working on it, <clears throat> moving. Okay, what about you? I am more excited about AR because that I feel- That shocks me. Really? No, I, 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 am, I feel like I already have faith in VR to do its, do its thing. It's okay. running its course, it's getting where it's supposed to be. And, okay. it's, and it's going, it's chugging along. Um, AR, I feel like is going to be the thing that a lot more people like adapt. 
I think my mom will put on a headset, my sister will put on a headset. Interesting. And then more more people like like Twitter and YouTube are going to be more likely to push those things forward. So more people will be using them. It'll start it be more gearing sort of up. I'll be based. meerkatting with my stupid oh, headset. Um, but yeah, it's something we've all wanted since we saw Google Glass and everyone got excited. Right. Um, so it, Also very reminiscent of this uh, this Magic League video because the first video they showed of Google Glass was was very ambitious in terms yeah, of a scope and ambitious. scale and, and yeah. very similar in, in excitement levels to what mm. we have here with Magic League. So me and Genghis the robot are totally on board with the AR. You named the robot. He told me. Oh, he told uh, me. So, but yeah, AR, there's there's a lot of promise, and it's it's the thing, like, I mean, if we're talking about moving towards watches, I mean, even better if we can just not even have to look down at a device and then right, I get just have it in front email of and it, I mean, this is not, this is not gonna be a perfect world once we have no. those AR headsets. We're gonna look stupid. Yes. It's gonna remove us from our world around us, and we're yep. just, it's, so it's a bad thing, but I'm excited. Like I'm excited gonna excited for while that. You're, yeah, terrible, sometimes terrible future. Sometimes if there's like a down moment and you're like you're talking about um, the, like uh, Tim Schafer or something like that, and I'll just zone out and start watching YouTube videos. Yeah, you won't even have to pay yeah, attention to like, me on the show. It'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Kel's like, finally, my dreams are coming true. I don't listen to this broad. Uh, but uh, so so that's I mean that's a good split. I think that's a really good point. I yeah, think, I think I, you're. That's a really good point too. I didn't think about the fact that maybe mass consumerism would maybe gravitate toward AR a little bit more than VR. Yeah. Pretty interesting. I'm very interested to know what producer Logan Yeah, what we'll to ask producer Logan. And you guys. Yeah. Really curious. Genghis guys. is already, so we're already ahead, man. Genghis is ahead of the curve Genghis. with Kale. All right. I, I just want to, Walking Dead was on last night. We got to talk about zombies, of course. Um, so this is kind of a fun way to start the week. It's Zombie Town USA. And this is a simulator that reminds me of, uh, you know, that game Plague Inc.? On yes. It? Okay. So fun, it's really good like outbreak simulator. It's kind of cool. So this is online. You can go online and check it out. It's um, and, and you can basically set up some parameters like how fast your zombies move. You can set up uh, how fast the time goes. So you can see there's, there's the outbreak happening. We started it sort of in San Diego and it's like, oh, it's going across. This it's is like, the zombie outbreak? Yeah, yeah, it's happening. So um, we did it earlier. We recorded this, we screen capped it. Wow, so, it seems like it's taking a long time. So here's the cool thing about this. So. The funny thing is, is this is not just a fun simulator that was made for kicks. There's actually like a whole bunch of science behind this. The guys that made this wrote a paper about the epidemiology and statistical mechanics of zombies and applied their knowledge to this simulation. They created the simulation, and uh, one of the creators explains the model like this. And I, this is a this is a quote. Um, or, or paraphrasing of what he said. Every member of the population in the model has two numbers assigned to it, where it is and what state it's in in terms of if it's a human, a zombie, or a dead zombie. So those are the three states you can be in if you're a member of the population in this model. When the model, uh, the model then charts interactions in that population over time. So the model will pick an action that can occur in each step of time. So each time increment that you set in this simulation, there's a thing that could happen and the model updates the probabilities for interactions every single time step. So it'll say, oh. <coughs> you're more likely to shake someone's hand in New York than in you are right. in Right, like, you're more Ohio. likely to, uh, like <coughs> things like zombie bites human, human kills zombie, zombie walks, like just doesn't kill anybody or get killed, but it just walks somewhere. Okay. So they, that's how it spreads. And so it's a very, like, it's a very deep, re kind of, they feel a, a very realistic model of what would happen if an outbreak or some kind of infection happened that affected the country. It is moving country. a lot slower than I thought it would. Right, and so this is at like 500 plus hours. So this is, you know, this is quite a ways out. And I'm moving to Texas. That's the safest place in the So far, or so Florida. good, right? So, um, but it's fun because you can choose where the outbreak starts. Oh, okay. So you can say like, oh, if it starts here, then like here's how it goes. And, you know, obviously, there's a lot less people sort of in that area that's kind of, you know, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, like Montana. So you can see it's a lot darker. And then all of a sudden it gets really dark as it starts, it gets really red as it starts moving to more populated areas, um, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's very uh, relaxing. It's it it's, like it is a little bit relaxing to sort of watch the doom of humanity. Uh, zombies, so. It's kind of delightful. By the way, I think it looks like you started, you started this outbreak in the Tomorrow Daily office. In the, is Genghis. 
Yeah, Genghis started. <laughs> Genghis started it up. You, um, but you yeah, zombie it, robot. But uh, it's, it's, it took forever to get to New York. It takes a long time. Yeah, it's it's. Surprising. Can you only do the U.S. Because I know we have a lot of. So global so far they viewers. have the U.S., but it would be I. I it would not be a stretch uh, to see them maybe if it's very popular and they can somehow maybe monetize it. Like I, I could see them maybe expanding it to the rest of the mm -hmm. world. I think DLC. Be cool. Yeah, a little DLC. Oof. Yeah, be good. Um, but that's uh, those are our headlines. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a quick break. We have a really weird kind of cool back at our hacket that might change the way we uh, wear shoes, which is kind of neat. And then uh, we have your user feedback and, of course, our phone talker for the day. So don't click away. It's Tomorrow Daily. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Uh, we have a very interesting round of crowdfunding that we're going to tell you whether or not we like or dislike. As always, on a Monday, this is Back at Our Hack. Don't, uh, don't throw up on me. Real quick, we should say that producer Logan said AR. He, he did. Said he said he's we asked more excited break. about AR. Um, so that's me, Genghis. And three, three against one. That's yeah, great. And producer Logan. Feel, I'm feeling pretty good about my choice. <laughs> okay, so I stand where, by my choice. So the way you wear your shoes? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about a lady product, but it could be pretty easily ported to guys as well. Mm -hmm. This is called Volvori. Volvori? Vol like Popery? Vol Volvori. It's a pair of high heels. With an e ink, in like, look at it changes. You see it change? No, oh, it's like magic. Okay. It's this an is e cool. There's an e ink panel embedded on the sides of this shoe, um, and the cool thing is, is you can not only change it from you know white to black, you can also put patterns on it. You can upload like, little patterns. You can do stripes or dots or whatever it is that you are feeling particularly in that day. Um, it uses a flexible e ink paper. And it's got a uh, Bluetooth LE receiver in the hollow of uh, the, oh, the shoe's that's cool. sole. So you can just send, you know, the patterns. So see, like, he's changing the patterns of the sole right there, which is like, or the, the paper, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's wireless charging, so you can charge your shoes wirelessly. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to myself, like, oh, another thing that I have to charge every day. But no, because the, it uses so little energy, e-ink uses so little energy, you can actually just, uh, you charge it, like, every few weeks. It takes, like, a long time. Um, so here's the thing, guys. Like, imagine a tennis shoe like this, like a, a tennis shoe. Oh my God! Yeah, that would be amazing. So I'd yeah, wear here's that. so that's them working on it. You can see, there's Bluetooth receiver. Yeah. They have everything set up in there. They got to put it in the sole of the shoe and stuff. But man, I would love, love, love a tennis shoe like this. That's really cool. All right, so cool tech. And maybe how, color. How, e how much? What okay. Are we look, what are we looking at here? So it's on Indiegogo. Uh -huh. That's where you can find it. It closes on April 12th, so it's been up for a little over a week, I guess, or you know, like it's about halfway through its campaign maybe. As of right now, it has about 15,000-ish dollars uh, of a $50,000 goal. So they're they're it's close. They're they're definitely they haven't been screaming so up the 15, charts. 15,000 of the 50 that they need. That they want, yeah. Um and it's they want $249 for one pair, which is for women in the neighborhood of kind of mid-range designer shoes, so it's not super cheap, but it's also not nearly as expensive as say a Louboutin, which is like a thousand dollars. Yeah, but I can see like Bridget Carey or you oh, yeah. or Brian Tong wearing these. Yeah, I mean Absolutely. Brian Tong, his legs would look amazing in these. Yeah, we should definitely email that to him. He would Brian, love them. Yeah, Brian's, yeah. he really like them. His, his legs are. They're really good. Rock and roll, man. They are. They're incredible. Yeah. They're like Miss Universe legs. These are really great legs. I wouldn't go that far, but. But they're pretty he definitely good. Definitely does quads. Um, so yeah, that's it's uh it's called Volvori, which is V O L V O R I I. Okay, so about three hundred dollars for the shoes, and Bluetooth, you can switch them on the go. Yeah, yeah they have the they, you have like an app, and then you'll be able to switch up the patterns and everything, and you charge them every few weeks. Three two two fifty for a pair okay. of shoes. Wireless charging. Wireless charging. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it helps at all, and I don't I don't know if it does. There's like snaps on the front and the back, so you can snap accessories on it, like bows or like X, whatever. Anyway, um, as if that matters to you, it might. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd say back it. Uh, I, uh, I, I, if I was, if I was a, a, a lady, I would like that sort of like. Would you buy a pair showy. of these for, for your girl? No, she has to get them herself. Oh, okay. I, because I can't trust my, I can't trust my your fashion taste? sense for women well, to she be can like, change oh, she'll love these. No, because she, she, she wears like varieties. She has cowboy boots and she wears slips and okay. she wears like heels. 
She's that's a big investment. I don't know. I a guy's shoes are like a hundred bucks, maybe one hundred twenty. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I I, yeah, these ones were like sixty. Yeah, I say back it if only if only to invest in the future of an e ink tennis shoe. That's uh, like oh god. I consider my investment in this like a a hey, I really like this. Make a tennis shoe, please. I'm, I'm almost down. six feet tall. I cannot wear a heel. I don't like it. I have weak ankles. I'm like oh, a yeah. giraffe. I can't, no. Like, it's. I'm all about the flats, guys. Well, that answers a lot of people's questions if, if you're you're just taller than me. Yeah, that's yeah. probably, it's, that is I'm accurate. wearing heels right now, and it's not helping. <laughs> Kill wears heels every day to the yeah. show, you guys, and it just. <laughs> but, but cushioning? No, <laughs> he's got a little <laughs> apple box I got a little chair. high chair. No, but that's cool. I, yeah. I like I like all that kind of stuff. I Remember know, we. We've shown off a necklace that kind of like changed. Yeah, the projection I necklace, like that was really weird. There's gonna be more of this stuff, so you might oh, as well yeah. back this guy. Get this in guy's. on the ground floor, mm-hmm. I guess. What um, would you do, would you, is there any patterns you'd throw on there that you know of? I would just love to see like MC Escher designs. Michelle oh, Starr and I were talking yeah. about that online yesterday, and I was, she's like, what about MC Escher? I'm like, oh my God, yes. Or like the uh, the carpet in The Shining, do you remember that? Oh my God, yeah. That'd be cool. That'd I made cool. like a wall, like weird tapestry design stuff. I would love like words, you could do you could do words. Oh, you put, you put like book. happy birthday, if it's somebody's birthday. Page of your favorite book, yeah. put that in there, you could have like text, that would yeah. be, be awesome. Yeah, if they, call us, dude. Call us or guys, lady. we'll know, help you develop stuff. Awesome, um, yeah, but sneaker definitely. Super good, yeah, mm. but sneaker all the way. Uh, okay guys, it's time to talk about what you think, so it's time for user feedback. <laughs> Boy, you guys really had a lot to say about the view. Yeah, a lot to say about yeah. whether or not you'd pay 50 bucks for the PlayStation View. Um, she, she, Chic wrote in and said, 50 bucks is a no-go. I don't have a PlayStation, and at that price, I'll stick with Charter and TiVo. The price makes no sense at all. Yeah, people have already found their ways of getting this content. They don't want to go out of their way to get it. Right. Good uh, on you. Ferdy wrote in and said, got Netflix and Hulu, got used to not having cable. Too expensive. 15 to 20 bucks a month, maybe worth it. Also available on portable devices. Yeah, that was a good thing. We should have asked how much they'd be willing to pay. Yeah. It's, <clears throat> a lot of people said like 20 bucks. Like 20, 25 bucks would be the top. Like, I'd do 35. I, I would say 30, 35 seems appropriate. Just considering the cloud DVR, like I like that. Yeah. And I, I like that you can... Uh, fast forward through commercials. 50 just seems too much. Like, I don't know why. I think it's because it's like going against everything else. It just gives me that sick feeling of like, oh, this is another cable contract. And it's like, it's, I know I'm not signing a two-year contract or anything with Sony, but it it feels like I am. It's just, this is a commitment. Oh, I'm going to pay for this. And I don't like that. Um, Shannon wrote in and said, TD View, packages are the same as cable. You are yeah. still paying for services you do not want. Hashtag not for me. Love the show, guys. Oh, yeah. Totally agree. Yeah, agree. We're more um, cable packages. Here, this this answer was probably my favorite answer. Cortland wrote in and said, I would pay 50 bucks a month for PlayStation View only if I could pick 75 channels that I want. All right. So you say, I want to pick my 75 channels. Or maybe if you get to pick your channels, you only get 50. Maybe it's like 50 bucks a month. And you can get 75 channels that we choose for you, or you can pick 50 of your choice. I'll pick 75 shows. Yeah, that would be, I would like that. You know, whatever. And then lastly, Rob emailed us and said, yes, I have a PlayStation 3, but I'm thinking about getting a PlayStation 4. I'm undecided whether I'm in or not, because although it's way cheaper than what I'm paying for cable, if I want HBO, it'll be an extra fee. Plus, if someone wants sports, you have to pay an extra fee. I guess the only way that I would buy a view that I would buy view is if it offered live sports and HBO and the other pay channels were included in the fifty dollars. See, price. Every, the, I knew you guessed yesterday that sports would be a make or break for a lot of people, and a it lot is. of people say like, no sports, I don't want. Like, forget it. Yeah, and HBO is trying ESPN, to do their own thing. ESPN. That's a big. That's a big. T- that's a big get. That's mm-hmm. a big get. And the, I couldn't care less about sports, so like that doesn't it. matter. Yo, oh, I absolutely get it. See, I feel like it should be that fifty dollars should include like ESPN and like that stuff. But then if you don't want it, you can have it removed. Like you can opt oh, out. So you can yeah. just like modularly take away. I think that that's more of a fair thing. Like as opposed to saying all of you must have this. Yeah. It's like I don't need two hundred channels of every sport that has ever existed on my Fios. Like, I pay for that. I never use them. But it's like, I wish I could just say, you know what, just all sports channels, just just take them out. Just and and, them. and then just charge me, like, it's not a bad idea. credit my account for the difference and whatever that is. All like, right. That's what I want. Credit. Not bad. Not bad thinking. Pretty good user feedback, we're you guys. Not in that. We're not in that. We can't really make those decisions. But yeah, no, this was a very... 
a very he, active conversation. Heated arguments. And I love heated. it because our segment yesterday was real long because we were just like, rah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this we is how we nuts. feel about this. We so. got ragey. So anyway, yeah, thanks for your uh, thanks for your comments. It was really cool to see how everybody felt because, as we said, wow, we got to make wow, you feel really Rio. strongly. We all have to decide together so that we control the stream yeah. of where things are going. It's true. We all have to fight for the user, which is us. Mm -hmm. So all right, guys, it's time for our very last piece of user feedback. It is our photographer of the day. Alex wrote into us and he got a little, I think maybe he was hangry when he wrote in. Maybe he just needed to eat something because he was a little upset. Uh-oh. Uh, he wrote in and said, I took this picture with my HTC One M7. I love my cats so uh -oh. much. They are great subjects to take pictures of. And then there was an emoji, a grimace emoji and like a kind of angry crying emoji. And it says, please notice me. <laughs> Whoa, Alex, dude, One, you two, have cats. Three. Pet your cat, it calms your heart down. It, that's what they, they give it to old people so that they There's relax. There's nine, nine exclamation points after noticing me. Pet your cat. <laughs> we love you. Relax. Alex, hello. We've noticed. We noticed you. I like Hi, it. Alex. I like your idea that he's that he's hungry and I thought angry he just, maybe he just, he was a little hangry, that's all. <laughs> I don't think you were actually mad at us. I think you were just maybe a little bit. You just needed a snack. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to send in your photography, you can email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Send, uh, send us your picture. Send us what device you took it with. And tell us a little story, because we always like that. And uh, of course, you can always send us other stuff, uh, story ideas, tips, tricks. Uh, again, I always like Game Genie codes. That's always nice. Uh, mm -hmm. coup coupons. Not dinner, a single coupons. person has sent us a Game Genie code. Nobody has sent us. I have so far. many games I can't beat right now. No, I really can't. I was, I'm stuck in Contra. It's you know. Oh it's yeah. Tough. Uh, and then of course, if you absolutely hate email, you can find us on social media. We're on Snapchat, Tumblr, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're Tomorrow Daily on all those things, and we are Tomorrow Daily TV over on Google Plus. How do we have the time to do all those things? We don't. No, we don't. We don't have time to do any of those things. I'm, I'm interested to know what people are using the most. Yeah. Like, hit us up, uh, like, which one you use the most, or if you think we should be using one more. Yeah, tell I'd us on that. I'd be very interested. Because That's I check them, but taking. it's like we, like, I don't see a lot, like, in di like yeah. I really don't, see, unless it's Twitter, which there's We're generally the most on Twitter. active on Twitter. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's where you can find us on social media. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and also, if you're watching on YouTube, I've been reading your comments. I, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been looking. Uh, so I, I peruse. I stalk I too. I stalk there. Uh, so don't forget to rate, review, and leave a comment so that we can talk. And then yes. also, if you're listening on iTunes podcast, don't forget to rate and review on that too. Um, we check the comments on there every once in a while. I do. I they like to They leave the reviews. funniest comments in the, in the iTunes reviews. You guys reviews. leave the best Those reviews are great. on iTunes. Tell, tell, uh, tell Genghis you said hi. Yeah. If you, if Say hi to Genghis there. in the review if you if you haven't done it yet. Yeah. Um, but we have like swan hype reviews. That was, I, I think love the favorite. swan hype reviews. <laughs> People don't swan know hype. what they're getting into. Anyway, nope. and also if you want to follow us on Twitters and our social lives and our social ramblings, I am at Kill Anonymous on Twitter. And I'm at Kill Anonymous on Twitter. How did that happen? How do we both get the same name? You know, I, I emailed Twitter and is I asked him to do me a favor. Chairs? Yeah, uh, it is because we switched chairs. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm absorbing your powers right now. All right, guys, no that is it for the show. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird tech, science, fiction, science fact, crashing. It's all good. I'm mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. Hope you are too. And uh, until then, be good humans. We'll see you next time. Bye.